Hey there folks, it's Lane with Windows10Update.com and today we have another six great back to school apps for Windows 10. Now please keep in mind, we are not going to do an in-depth overview of the features of each of these apps because that would just take way too long. You'll be able to explore what these apps do on your own if they uh, seem interesting to you. The first app that we want to take a look at today is called BrainPop Junior. There's also another BrainPop application. Essentially what these apps are is they're free learning resources. This one particularly is for children. So there's a featured video every day and there's many other videos on different subjects that you can look at. And at the end of the video, there is a nice little interactive quiz. So this is a great way for children to learn. So if you have a child that is you know, somewhere between the ages of maybe five and 10 years old, or maybe a little bit younger than that, this would be a great application for them. So whether you're a parent or a teacher, this would be a great way to get your, your uh, kids or your students involved in learning in a way that is interactive and exciting to them. All right, the next two apps we're gonna take a look at are shopping applications. Now, shopping may not seem like it's at all related to back to school, but of course you know that back to school season is a big shopping season. So especially for parents or for students if they're old enough to buy their uh, school supplies on their own. So there may be a lot of different things that you need to purchase. And then as well, if you are a college student, you're going to be going to college and staying in a dorm, it may be a lot easier for you to do your shopping online. So the first of those two apps is Zappos.com. So in case you're not familiar with what Zappos is, it is essentially an apparel store for uh, men and women of all ages. So you can see they have different sections here for shoes, clothing, bags, accessories. And, and the way that this application is laid out is very nice because it allows you to sort not only by the category, but also by the uh, individual who's shopping. So if you're a woman, you can obviously take a look only at women's shoes, etc. It's just a, a very nice way to lay out that application. The next one we want to take a look at is the Amazon app. Now this one I actually use pretty frequently myself. I haven't since I've upgraded to Windows 10. Um, however, the Amazon app is actually really good for browsing different products, reading those reviews. And as you can see, you can sign in. So if you, even if you don't want to buy something today, you can easily favorite that or add it to your cart so that you'll be able to buy that later on. On Amazon, you can get anything that you need. So whether you need dorm room supplies or you need to actually purchase maybe a, some, some sort of PC hardware for uh, when you're going to be going to school, this is a great application for you to do that. Next, we're gonna take a look at an application that is really, really exciting, especially for teachers. This is an app that is very extensively used in education right now. So if you are a teacher or a professor, you should really be uh, taking a look at this app and what it can do for you and your students. It's called Nearpod. Now what Nearpod does is it allows you to control the screen on any other device in the area, perhaps in your classroom, that also has this application installed. So you and your students would perhaps enter a room in this Nearpod application, and then you can control the experience, what they see on their screen. So this is a great way to be interactive. It gets people involved, uh, paying attention um, to what's going on, even if they are on their devices. Uh, it is a lot of fun, and a lot of teachers and professors have had a lot of success with using it. Next, we want to take a look at HMH Readers. This is an application that, as you can see, is really meant for kindergarten through middle school age um, reading level. So this helps students who are uh, perhaps maybe struggling with their reading skills or reading comprehension, things like that. Um, this is a very nice way for them to get involved with reading on their devices. As you know, kids in this age range are very much into their tablets and smartphones and things like that. So this application is great for them if you want to make sure that some of that time that they're spending on their devices is actually going to help them progress through school. So again, this is a great application for someone who is either a parent or a teacher and wants to get their kids involved uh, using their technological device. Now the next application we want to take a look at is Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Yes, that's the same dictionary that you've probably been using since you were a kid, regardless of how old you are now. Now this app is $4.99, although there is a 14 day free trial. You may be asking yourself why this application costs $5 when there are so many other dictionary applications that are free. And the reason really is that it works offline. All those other applications basically do a web search 
to find the dictionary definition of a word that you choose. This app works offline, and it also has some other advanced features that you do need to be online to use, like pronunciation. Regardless, whatever age group you are, whether you're going to be using this app for your uh, child or your students, if you're a teacher or a parent, or if you're going to college yourself and uh, you need a dictionary application, really this is something that everyone, no matter what their age group, is going to need. Having features in there like pronunciation is very helpful, especially in the English language. Thanks so much for tuning in. Those were our six great back-to-school apps for Windows 10. Tune back in tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching.